Hello swimmers, it's Dangle here and I hope you're having And hello everybody, it is Dingle here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing super super duper well. Guys, today I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. This is really for you guys, so don't say I never did nothing for ya. We are about to hit 4,000 subscribers on this channel and I'll talk about how much that means to me. Like, I, trust me, I just honestly can't believe it. But in honor of hitting this next thousand, I thought it would be not fun, but extremely entertaining for you guys for me to react to the first ever YouTube video that I put on the internet. So that's what we're gonna do today. But before we do that, guys, if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Mac Dingle, M-A-C-D-I-N-G-L-E. I live in Portland, Maine with my husband, Jack. Yes, Mac and Jack. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below because we post videos every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Everyone, do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. And let's hop into this video. I'm so excited about it. So I promise we will get to the horrific cringiness of this video in just one second. But I just want to say how flipping, like, amazed and like grateful and shocked that we're almost at 4,000. I honestly was settled into the fact that I would always be a 3,000-ish YouTuber. Like I honestly thought that and not a 4,000 to the naked eye is anything far off of 3,000 if that makes sense. We're still a little itty bitty channel here on the YouTube interwebs but for me it means a lot. I honestly don't remember how long I've been in the 3,000s but it's been at least a year. But honestly, from the very beginning to as long as we've been in the 3000s, I can truly honestly say that this has never been about the numbers for me. Because if it was for the numbers, I would have stopped when I realized I wasn't getting out of it. Like, I would have stopped years ago. So to show myself and then also to like grow this community with everybody and just be so stuck in the 3000s for so long really shows myself. And I hope it shows you guys how much I truly just love this. I love making videos. I love talking to you all. I love building this community that we have on YouTube and I hope it never stops. I hope we like attract more Dingle Pringles. You guys don't actually know that I secretly call you guys Dingle Pringles. That's a very Twitch thing. I stream on Twitch on Tuesdays and Thursdays and our community over there is called the Dingle Pringles. So I guess you guys are, but if you don't like it, I won't call you that. Let me know if Dingle Pringles is like triggering. Just let me know in the comments. But the fact that we have this community and it's growing right now, I will never take that for granted. Even if we stop growing, even if we stick within 4,000 for a a little bit until we like go to five, whatever. Just know that I love wherever we're at on this YouTube journey. I love however many of you there are and I will always love making videos regardless of the numbers. But that's not to say I'm not flipping excited about getting out of the 3000s and onto the 4000s. Here we go. The other thing that I have learned throughout this whole journey is remembering where you came from. Remembering your first upload. A lot of YouTubers private their videos because they are so cringy, everyone starts off somewhere, but once you get your rhythm and once you get your brand going, once you get more comfortable in front of the camera, people start priving their stuff because they don't want someone to like stumble across their old videos and be like, oh, this is not what I want to subscribe to. They want people to stumble across their newer videos instead. However, I have always had the mentality of keeping my videos unprivated, like public on my channel, because not only do I want to remind myself every single day of where I came from and what my first upload was, but I kind of don't care if people stumble across my old videos because it shows them how far I've come as well But also for anyone who wants to start a YouTube channel or thinks that people started exactly where they are on YouTube And don't have any sort of journey and they were just so good at making videos and so comfortable in front of the camera Right off the bat. I want to keep my videos on there to remind them that that is simply not the fact at all I might private them one day just to keep my channel consistent and on brand but for now for all 4,000 of you, we're just gonna keep them on private. But with that said, 
we're gonna react to the very first one. My husband, Jack, most of you know him very well by now, likes to remind me once in a while of my first video. Sometimes he'll play the very beginning of it, sometimes he'll quote it, sometimes I'm just like, oh my gosh, and if I can't get through him just referencing the video, I don't know how I'm actually gonna watch it right now. So, move on to the side. Okay, so as you can see, here's our channel. We have 3.99 subscribers. Look at how nice this little grid looks. Look how on brand and consistent that looks. And now we're just gonna sort by oldest, okay. Look at this catastrophe of zero brand. Oh my gosh, look at the inconsistency, the different fonts I used to use. I just saw scrolling through this five different fonts. Okay, so the first video that I ever put out here <laughs> was a let's play of The Sims. For those of you who are new, I started my channel in 2016 and I thought that it was going to be a Sims only channel. I have been a longtime lover of The Sims. That's why I still sprinkle Sims content on this channel. I love it so much, so I want to like keep that love of it alive. But when I discovered people watched Sims videos like on YouTube or made them, and then there was a thing called Let's Plays, I was like, I literally do this already. I just don't record it and put it online. So like, I'm gonna do this. Like, I'm gonna do this. This is gonna be so fun. I literally don't want to watch this. I literally don't want to watch this. Okay, ready, set, play. Hello fellow Simmers, it's Dangle here, and I hope you're having... <laughs> okay, okay, we'll start it over. I will, I promise not to, I promise to stop pausing it so much. Okay. Hello fellow swimmers, it's Dingle here, and I hope you're having a super dingly day so far. I know I am. Guys, this is my first broad- <laughs> A super dingly day. Oh my god! Guys, a backstory real quick. I remember, like, hearing this, I literally was like- like I almost spoke like five different times. That's because I was so nervous to record my first YouTube video and I kicked Jack out of the apartment so that I could record my voiceover because I couldn't stand for him to even be in the room while I was recording. And now he's in my vlogs on the reg. I literally walk around the house or walk around in public with a camera. We've come so far. Also this quality, look at how it like doesn't reach the edge of the screen anyway. Okay, we're gonna try. Podcast and I'm super excited to show you everything that I've been working on. And we're gonna start with the Kale family. We're just gonna go in here real quick. Again, I've been a simmer for my whole life. I have a simmer? Is that what we call ourselves? You can tell how nervous I was. I was so not myself. I don't blame past Mac. I don't. It's just really hard to look back at her. I also didn't understand the concept of being able to like cut audio really easily in different places. So I felt like I had to fill space and that's just okay. I love the Sims 1. My favorite expansions are definitely the pets and I cannot wait for Sims 4 to come out with the pets but I'm super excited to It wasn't even I'm out yet. Bills. I'm gonna do, I'm just so excited to finally have this creative outlet but it, and also getting to share everything with you guys. Again, my name is Dingle and I am so excited to welcome you to my channel today. Oh, that's really cute. Now that kind of makes me want to cry. I remember thinking that when I post my first video, people are just going to subscribe. Like people are going to come in, they're going to subscribe, it's going to be hunky-dory. And some people blow up in six months. And then there's some people who've been doing this for a few years and have 4,000 subscribers. Everyone's YouTube journey is so different. And there's no formula for how yours might go. But me like thinking that this is going to like blow up and me was just going to get subscribed so I was talking to an audience that I thought was going to be my subscribers was so cute And then just like hearing me say like I'm so excited to start my channel I'm like this has been such a big part of my life for years. I've just grown to love it so much I don't know what life would be like without making videos and this community. I'm like, I'm so grateful. Okay, let's go So while this is loading, I while this is loading <laughs> This is how I normally play. I sort of have this Higher lineage. Oh well, that's appropriate for my first podcast. It's a bathing um, suit. It's a bathing suit. I'm like, that's inappropriate. Like, it's literally a bathing suit. And what I do is, before we get into this, 
Oh my god. I'm just going to. I wonder if sure. I have this house still. So how I normally play is that I have a family and then what I do is, you know, I have first, <laughs> you know, uh I can't, I can't stop my words. It's literally like I don't know how to edit out the bad like audio or anything. Also, this audio is so bad. I don't know what I was using to record VO, but it just hits differently. Like my ears are like Ooh, not good, but also where's that house? I start with two people, they fall in love, they're meant to be together, and then they have kids, and then I choose one of the kids to play out their destiny. They all can be different. I've played a lot of different characters a lot of different times. That's not and true. I choose them to move on and start their own family, and they do their different things, and then you have all of a sudden a huge- That's li I'm literally just describing the legacy challenge right now, and I didn't even know it. But I'm gonna go into the family a little bit. So, we started out in- So I many kids! Evelyn, and I was so Oh, I love the name Evelyn mom, still. And I was waiting for the perfect man to come along, and I didn't make Gavin. He came along- I don't remember Gavin. a caterer at a party. Ooh, scandalous. Having a party, and I hadn't found my perfect man yet, and <laughs> he came along, and I was like, oh my gosh. I still talk crazy. about The Sims the my same. Favorite. I still talk about my Sims, Sims the same. Armor on the side, ooh. On the side, no, oh my goodness, on the side, this wasn't on the side, she was an alien baby that actually came out of Gavin. This is my first alien baby. Um, oh my gosh, I remember that. That was Gavin, my first alien Gavin, baby. Gavin. Move on and have her own family, have her own life, and she was super, he did have a family with. <laughs> Was that a transition? Was that my way of cutting two clips together? <laughs> I can't decide. I think what I'm going to do. Let me. I literally didn't have a plan for this let's play so at all. That's the genealogy there. And that's I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to spice it up a little bit for you all here. So this is a house. Spice it up. Do, I have a few ideas of what I want to do for you all. Oh, that's cute. On several different films. Look at that back but yard. It's cute. It's cute. Show you a little bit. So this is the outside. I love green houses. I don't it's anymore. Cool. No. Um, it's small, definitely, but I don't know. I just, I'm just a fan. I'm a fan <laughs> of the tinier. And again, four kids live here and adults, so it works for us. And for us. So <laughs> they and her husband David. Look at them. Oh my gosh, those lovebirds. They. Ew, ew, ew. I can't. I can't. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. Oh my god, I cannot listen to myself. I'm sorry. You guys got a lot there. If you want to watch the rest of that, please don't. Just skip that. Trust me, that's all the good parts of the video. You don't have to go back and watch it yourself. It's fine. I think besides the editing, besides the poor video quality, besides the poor audio quality, the most cringy thing for me watching that is the front, I guess, that I was putting on. And I wasn't intentionally putting it on, but you'll notice if you go back to a lot of YouTubers' like first videos, it takes a lot of practice to start being yourself in front of a camera. It is the weirdest thing. And I wasn't filming myself there, but even speaking, you can just tell my personality is just not there. It's not me. It's not Mac Dingle. It is so weird. I was so uncomfortable and my voice was like higher pitched because I don't know why I was nervous. I definitely heard myself get more comfortable as the video went on, but <laughs> but guys, I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you are new and you've made it all the way to the end of the video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. We post every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Everyone do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. And just to say one more time, I am so grateful for all nearly 4,000 of you on this channel. I welcome all of the new subscribers with open arms. I love you all very much. Again, let me know if Dingle Pringles is something that you guys wanna be, or if you're like, don't call us Dingle Pringles ever again in my entire life. Like just all opinions down below, give them to me. With that said, the post notification shout out for this video goes to our friend Hope on the channel. Hope, thank you so much for rushing in and commenting on my videos. I super appreciate it. Guys, if you wanna be next notification shout out, all you have to do is be subscribed, make sure the notification bell is turned on, and you could be in my next video. I love you all so, so, so much, and I will catch you on Monday, my friends. I'll see you later. Bye!